Cartfergus Castle is one of the most uh, well-preserved uh, medieval castles in all of Britain and Ireland. It stood on the shores of Belfast Lock for over 800 years. If we imagine the walls of this castle, massive and defensive as they are, the roof itself is a fairly vulnerable part of the structure and over the centuries it has been replaced many times. And over the past 100 years it's had a flat roof on the, the castle. It performed well but it really reached the end of its working life. And we found that with ongoing water penetration and continuous repairs weren't solving that problem. So we had to go back to the drawing board and to learn from how the castle was built the first time around and to reflect that in how we're going to conserve it for the future. So the stages in the construction were first of all the removal of the old roof, uh, which was more like surgery rather than demolition because it had to be taken away carefully so as not to damage any of the existing hard historic fabric. Then we put on the load-bearing structure, which is the green timber oak roof. That having already been sort of assembled and disassembled and brought to site, was craned and assembled to form the bones of the roof. And then over the top of that, we put the waterproof envelope, which is the slates and the lead and the finishing off and the ridges in the top. Well, the medieval techniques haven't been massively complicated or different to what we normally do. Most of the carpentry work that we do is uh, based on this style of, uh, of carpentry with mortise and tenon joints and really joints that haven't changed in uh, hundreds if not a thousand years. The complexity on this particular roof has been the, the shape of it. The roof isn't square in plan so every corner which uh, a modern building would be square at right angles is uh, a different angle so there's lots of very complicated geometry and uh, while that's been the complexity, it's always been also been the interesting, exciting part of the project from my point of view as a designer. The construction works went hand in hand with the archaeological investigation. Even before the project started, the Historic Environment Division carried out due diligence works to make sure that the new design had minimal impact on the historical masonry. We found evidence of a fireplace dating to the 1800s and of three windows from the same period that have been blocked for nearly a century and that will be open now for the public to see. Carrick Fergus Castle is an important part of the heritage of Northern Ireland. It attracts tens of thousands of visitors each year and it is in the prime location of being in close proximity to Belfast and at the start and end point of the famous Causeway Coastal Route. This is one of the most important conservation projects that has been conducted in Northern Ireland in recent decades, uh, if not indeed centuries. We have seen a combination of architectural skills, engineering skills, archaeological trades and crafts that have come together to construct a roof in sympathy with this building, but with minimal damage to the original fabric of the site. And the, the Million Pound project is to safeguard this castle now for at least the next hundred years, if not beyond. And there's no good reason that this fine oak roof won't become a monument in its own right in years to come. It's been an enormous privilege to work on this. It's not very often that you get a chance to work with the quality of craftsmen that have worked on this project, with the quality of materials and in a building that is of this significance. With a castle and with the type of roof that we have here, we're looking at something which is going to last for generations. And again, that's enormously satisfying.